Good morning everyone. Scenery is going to look a little different, but I am in St. Cloud and I am going to be doing the, um, I haven't even looked at my face today, so no promises. Um, but it is the Lemonade Art Show and this show is the show that kind of kicks off the whole entire like St. Cloud, I think it's called Granite City Days. It's like the huge city celebration. Uh, this is my... Yeah, this is my third year doing it and got lucky again beautiful weather because this is not just like a quick like three four five hour show this is 11 to 8 setup is anywhere from 7 to 11. this one's nice because it i mean even a bigger show it still usually only takes me like max two hours to set up so i'm going to get there at seven and then if i set up from seven to nine i will then have another hour and a half to like kind of go do whatever I want to. I stopped and got like a bomb me sandwich yesterday for lunch. Um, so and then I have some other snacks like bananas, strawberries and all that jazz. So I would say like St. Cloud is, it's kind of like, it's a very, it's a smaller metropolitan area. Um, it's definitely like city city, not as big as Minneapolis by any stretch. But like your main jugular through the city is, you know, a two-way, both ways, stoplights, all that stuff. Um, so if it's not, I mean, like early in the morning, I can like get to the other side of the city in like 10 minutes. If you're stuck in traffic with lights, <laughs> you're stuck much longer than 10 minutes. So um, I know what I'm doing, I know where I'm going. So yeah, I'm going to have like a little cup of coffee here and kind of figure out my day. And well, I know what my day is, but kind of reconfigure, get dressed, and yeah, we'll head out in a little bit. So we are going down Division right now. This is that main jugular that kind of goes through all of like Waite Park, St. Cloud, and then getting into the campus area. And then once we get here, I'll take you on a little tour and show you the scenery of what the campus looks like in the area that we have the huge craft show. You can kind of see all the vendors on the other side of the courtyard behind those little trees throughout the day they have little performances of like belly dancers uh different kinds of music and whatnot and then this year the weather was pretty good we had a couple little spots where it rained a little bit but nothing crazy it was just enough to kind of make everything wet a little humid nothing that you couldn't just have an umbrella with you for so that way you could just not be getting rained on nobody needed sidewalls there was no major wind or anything like that I do think it did hinder the attendance because I feel like my sales were down a little bit this year. So I don't know if that had something to do with it. A few of the other vendors had said the same thing. And then setting up, I'm on the corner. And then unfortunately, the person to the looking at my tent, the left of me, uh, did not show up. So had I known that, I probably would have moved over a spot. So there wouldn't have been any gaps. That being said, and I'm not a huge fan of having gaps or being kind of left alone on my own. I'm on a corner of a sidewalk and it's a main area that people do walk. So there's still a lot of traffic that goes by. Setting up, I'm not used to being on a corner very often. I end up getting a corner and I get the same spot every year now, which is great. And again, you have the traffic that comes from both sides. And then another little interesting situation that happened this year, and it's something that most vendors especially new ones be very conscious of this but somebody towards the end of the day as we were all packing up and whatnot all of a sudden there was a huge ruckus and my mom was like hey there's something going on there was all this yelling but it was across that courtyard that's behind me and I couldn't really see what was going on but there was a kid running and then all of a sudden he throws something up in the air so it turns out that this kid had stolen somebody's entire cash float and I couldn't tell if it was like a bag or a box. Be very mindful that there are definitely people that are out there trying to steal your money and they a lot of times they will work in teams 
one will distract you, one will steal the, your money. They'll kind of keep an eye on what you're doing, where you keep your money. I usually always keep my money in my back pocket or in crossbody pouches or a fanny pack. Always keep your money on you. If you have a cash box, make sure there's a way that you can have it drilled into your table or into something where if somebody were to try to take it, they would have to take an entire piece of furniture. So that was, I mean, the kid ended up throwing it. He was very distraught. So whether he was distraught that he was going to get caught or that he did get caught or that whoever he was doing the job for was going to be very upset with it, I'm not sure. <laughs> Keep that in mind. Afterwards, we usually, my mom and I, we have a new tradition. We go to a local little bar downtown St. Cloud. We have burgers and then we go back and just kind of chill and relax and be introverts. Please hit the subscribe button. Stay tuned. In one of our next videos, we are going to meet Abby. She's new to my team. She's going to make some soap with us. She's going to be doing a market with me to kind of train in and then she takes over and does her own market. Have a great afternoon and I will see you in the next one. Bye.